The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so I'm going to work through problem number 16 for the midterm exam 1 Physics 2020. And this problem says, a force of 125 newtons is applied to a full grocery cart whose mass is 35 kilograms. Uh, there is a frictional force of 100 newtons acting against the motion. What is the acceleration of the cart? All right, so <coughs> here is the illustration of the problem statement. We have a cart, and there is going to be a force applied to this cart and the cart is going to have a tendency when that force is applied to move in that direction but there's a frictional force acting against the cart and um, also we have um, since the cart is on a surface we know that um, what the force is acting on an object uh, when it's sitting on a surface is that we have the weight of the object acting down and we have an equal and opposite force called the normal force acting up on the object object all right and so in that case, we're able to draw our free body diagram, and for problems like this, it's always important to draw the free, di free body diagram, which basically um, is basically you have the object basically in the center, and then you put all of the forces that are acting on that object. And the reason being is because you need to resolve the forces into uh, the forces acting on the object in the x and y direction because force is a vector. And so, um, we draw our free body diagram. If we uh, assume that this is the positive x direction and this is the positive y direction, then we have a positive force acting that's applied acting in the uh, positive x direction. We have a negative force, which is the friction uh, acting in the negative x direction. We have a positive uh, normal force acting in the vertical direction and a negative weight force um, acting in the negative y direction. All right, and um, so if we go to our uh, if we go to our formula sheet, uh, we're trying we we know that that uh, we know that the sum of the forces, okay, is also going to equal to um, the acceleration. Uh, the mass times acceleration. All right. So this is a this is the um, equation that we want to use. All right. Now, uh, if there's no if there's no motion, there's no acceleration. The, if the object isn't moving, then we know that uh, the sum of the forces is just going to equal to zero. But in this particular case, we're asked to find the acceleration. So what is the acceleration of the cart? So um, the sum of the force is actually going to equal to ma, and, M and a is the acceleration is not going to equal to zero. All right, and so one way we can do this is that we have the forces acting in the y direction. Okay, okay, so we have the forces acting in the y direction. So um, the sum of the forces acting in the y direction is we have a positive normal force minus the weight force, okay? And that's going to equal to your mass times acceleration. Well, uh, then we know that the normal force is just going to be equal and opposite to the weight force, such that these are just going to cross out to be zero. And so zero is equal to ma, okay? And um, since we know that the mass cannot be zero because the mass is 35 kilograms, the only thing that will make this situation true, this equation true, is that A has to equal to zero, okay? And so A, if A is equal to zero, that means there's no acceleration. So this object is not moving at all in the y direction. And that's what we expect. Okay, we're applying a force onto the cart. The cart is moving horizontally. We don't expect the cart to move up and down um, unless there's a bump there, but it doesn't say anything about a bump or any other forces applied to the cart. So we assume that there's no movement or acceleration in the y direction for this particular object. 
All right, so, that's, so this makes sense. So now let's move to the x direction. So some of the forces in the x direction, um, and actually I should have been consistent, I should have put a y here, so it would be some of the forces in the y direction, acceleration in the y direction, okay? So some of the forces in the x direction is equal to um, what's acting in the positive direction is the applied force, which is 125 newtons, minus the frictional force, because that's in the negative direction, so that's 100 newtons, and that's going to equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object in the x direction. All right, and so we get 125 minus 100 is going to be 25 newtons is equal to the mass, which is 35 kilograms, times the acceleration in the x direction. All right, now we can just simply solve this equation for the acceleration in the x direction, and that's 25 newtons divided by 35 kilograms so that we get the acceleration in the x direction to be, when we calculate it, to be um, 0 0.71 meters per second squared, right? And um, just remember that a newton, which is n, um, is equal to kilograms, meters per second squared. That's a unit of a newton. So whenever we divide this by kilograms, the kilograms will cancel out. You'll just be left with meters per second squared. Now, another thing to be careful about. Um, <laughs> I use N for the normal force. So this is normal force. Okay? That is different from the N that I'm using here, which stands for Newton. So just a little clarification there. Um, so applying all the forces to the object, which is the only thing that's relevant, are the, uh, are the forces acting in the X direction. We found the acceleration to be 0 0.71 meters per second squared. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu